Hello again. I bring you a moment of stewardship. What brought me to UCIM? My journey began in 1979 when about 130 of us gathered in the music room at D.W. Penner School. UCIM quickly grew, and soon we were ready to break ground on the building we worship in today. This space has grown with us, and now we're set to embrace a sustainable future with the geothermal heating and cooling. But UCIM is more than just a brick and mortar building. It is a community. It has nurtured four generations of my family. When my parents arrived in Winnipeg as new immigrants in 1977, they were embraced by UCIM members like Ira and Sadie Owen and Lola Zimal. My father soon felt he truly belonged here. Years later in 2010, during my first grandchild's three-month stay in the ICU, this congregation offered us constant caring support, a gift that strengthened us through a difficult time. What keeps me at UCIM? For over 40 years, ministers and leaders here have challenged us to grow spiritually. While musical talents of gifted pianists, choir directors, and choirs have enriched our worship, new members are welcomed, creating a caring, inclusive environment for all. UCIM provides me with spiritual energy each week a home away from home. Why do I give? Recently, the Greening Initiative delivered a geothermal system and energized volunteers across our faith community. If you're ever curious about getting involved, just look to one of our two energizer bunnies, both named Karen who never ceased to have exciting projects we could help out with. Just like my older home, our church needs care and upkeep to remain a safe and inspiring space. I believe it's our responsibility to sustain this community so it can serve us and fulfill God's mission in the world. We started with around 15 families, grew to over 400, and now have about 285 contributing units. <clears throat> Pardon me. If we each do our part to support this vibrant church, I believe we're headed to an exciting future and that, to me, is good news.